Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. A bit of me time. Uh, this is something Filipinos don't generally understand. Um, for me, I like to go for a walk because sometimes I'm contemplating things. Um, if you've got stuff going on in the house, you want to get away, just go for a walk for 10, 20 minutes, clear your head, have a good think, um, and come back. You know, it's, it, I don't know if it's just a UK thing, I don't know, but going for a quiet walk on your own, sometimes you do, because um, you feel like it. But in the Philippines, um, people generally don't like people walking alone. They see it as a, um, a sad thing, as if they, somebody should be with them. Um, but at the same time, you're going for the walk to be on your own. So be aware of that. If you're going to say, I'm going to go for a walk for half an hour, and I'll go, you know, and somebody says, oh, I'll come with you. You say, no, nah, it's all right, I'll go on my own. Just make them aware of why you're doing it because um, for a lot of Filipinos, they wouldn't get it. Um, it just doesn't fit into the culture. Um, you never hear a Filipino saying, I'm just going for a walk, I'll be back in a bit. Um, <laughs> they just don't do it. But yeah, it's one of those odd things which uh, is it's quite funny. But when they see somebody alone, they assume there's something wrong. Um, it's why you, I mean, if you look at most Filipinos, you don't see very many travel on a, alone, um, maybe to the bus stop or something, but that's pretty much it. Um, even when you meet people, they normally have somebody with them. Uh, culturally, that's normal. Relationship-wise, chaperoning is normal. Um, so yeah, be aware of it, uh, because in Philippine culture, it, it's, it's not normal for you to go out on your own. Uh, people often don't understand it. Uh, thanks for watching.